emerging markets are selling off. You only need to look at the dramatic falls in many emerging market currencies over the last few weeks. India's rupee is at an all-time low against the dollar. Now, we've been here before. The big question is, is this just a necessary correction or the beginning of another crisis? Our Delhi bureau chief, Victor Mallet, has seen his fair share of emerging market crises. A lot of people would say that the rupee was due for a decline. Uh, no one expected it to be quite so rapid uh, or so steep, um, but it was going to happen because of the high inflation in India, and it has happened, and it's happened in other emerging markets as well, but that doesn't uh, necessarily mean that, that it can't be stopped. And of course, a lot happens on what the Fed does next. Now, as Victor says, the Federal Reserve is key. The turbulence stems from the start of the Fed's taper talk back in May, when Ben Bernanke said he wanted to taper off the Fed's purchases of bonds. That implied cutting off the spigot of money to emerging markets, and this great chart from HSBC's John Lomax shows that it really hurt the countries with big current account deficits, like India. As US Treasury yields have gone up, so the stock markets of deficit countries have underperformed. The correlation is almost perfect, and it shows equity investors are worried that this could turn into an old-fashioned emerging market crisis, like the one that hit Asia in 1997. There are, however, some big differences. Emerging markets are facing extreme pressure, equity markets, currency markets at the moment, but we think that we are in a fundamentally different position to where we were in the 1990s. Floating currencies, less leverage, um, better capital discipline by corporates. Emerging markets appear to have their houses in order. Now that currencies aren't pegged, they can adjust steadily, acting as a safety valve. And you could argue that there's a lot of healthy correcting to be done because money has been flowing into emerging markets for a long time. Foreign exchange reserves really started to accumulate in around about 2002. And between now, then and now, uh, emerging market nations overall have accumulated over $6.5 trillion worth of reserves. That story started to change a little bit in the summer of 2011, just that the dollar itself started to recover, and the pace of growth in those reserves has slowed markedly since then. So actually, what we're seeing at the moment is a continuation of something that began around about uh, two years ago. That reserve accumulation has been central to huge outperformance by emerging market equities, particularly in the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India and China. And as you can see from this chart, it does look as though that era is now at an end. With money flowing out, a generation of systematic outperformance by emerging market stocks looks as though it's over. But could there still be value? Yes, there could, if you're prepared to wait a while. Yeah, we think the asset class as a whole represents very good value. Uh, we use two measures, um, price to book, and cyclically adjusted PEs. Um, on the former, um, we are below one and a half times price to book. Historically, if you bought at these levels and held for a year, uh, you had always made positive returns since the, since the late 90s. On a cyclically adjusted PE basis, we um, believe we're at 18 times, um, and we bottomed at 15 um, in early 2009. So yes, the asset class represents good value at these levels. Viewed over 10 years, the prospects for emerging markets don't look so bad. The problem is the next few weeks. So far, all we've seen is a correction of a process that has gone on for a decade. If the central banks act wisely and cautiously, then I think they can smooth the path of their currencies down to more appropriate levels without necessarily causing too many strains and too many frictions in the local market. Orderly devaluations can be healthy. After all, the countries in peripheral Europe are in a crisis precisely because they can't devalue. Emerging markets could prove that they have at last emerged. But, there had to be a but, it is still too soon to say that this is just a correction. The critical variable is the US bond market. Ten-year yields are now almost 3%. If they were to shoot up much further, to say 4 or 5%, that could create havoc in emerging markets. And you can imagine that happening. That's why investors are guarding against that risk. And until we are much clearer about how the Fed will taper and how the bond market will react, it would be dangerous to assume that this is just a correction. John Authors, Financial Times in London.